Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video. This may just be the week that the Kremlin's ongoing campaign to fetishize and monopolize the narrative about World War II reached its absurd climax. But then again, maybe not. According to a report in Commerçant, Federation Council member Alexei Pushkov has proposed an amendment enshrining Russia's status as a, quote, victorious power in World War II into the Constitution. That report came as Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov denounced Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky for daring to mention during a visit to Warsaw the undisputed historical fact that it was the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact between Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union that led to the start of the Second World War. And it came as Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu pledged to fight any attempt to tarnish Moscow's role in World War II as the 75th anniversary of its end approaches later this year. And it also came in the midst of an ongoing dispute between Russia and Poland over history in which Vladimir Putin remarkably blamed the Poles for the outbreak of World War II. The Kremlin's obsession with controlling the narrative about the war, its denial of reality, and its lashing out at those who challenge these denials has several sources. At the very simplest level, there is the historical guilt that the Putin regime is unwilling and incapable of coming to terms with. Because we know the history. We know that Stalin and Hitler cut a secret deal to carve up Europe in August 1939. We know this led to the start of the war and the occupation of Poland and the Baltic states by two of history's most nefarious regimes. And we know that the Soviet Union only went to war with the Nazis after Hitler reneged on that deal and invaded it. We also know that the heaviest Soviet war losses were actually suffered by Belarusians and Ukrainians. But there's more to it than that. There's also the fact that an idealized and mythical notion of Moscow's role in World War II is part of the Kremlin's legitimizing myth. For this regime, history isn't history at all. It's scripture. But the deepest reason, I believe, for the Kremlin's World War II fetish lies not in how the war began, but rather what happened after it ended, with the Soviet occupation of Eastern Europe. For Putin's Kremlin, the war narrative doesn't just seek to legitimize the regime, it seeks to legitimize an empire. It seeks to legitimize occupation and oppression by calling it liberation. Keep telling us what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a Vertical Video.